Welcome back to Fallout 76. I don't know where I am, but right over there is a scorched officer. And he's got um, one of those uh, key code things on him, or whatever you call them, because I could hear it beeping. Where are you, dude? Oh, oh! That's scary. Is this him? Oh, this is him. So he's got silo alpha code piece D8. So let's go ahead and take it from him. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> where the heck am I? I'm right here by this tower. Uh, am I really that far away from where I was at the end of the last episode? Let's see. Uh, I'm over here. I'm way over here again. And... At the end of the last episode, we were actually on the other side over here, so... Man... I mean, I can understand, I guess, the game starting me at a different location, but holy crap, man. I was way over there, like up this hill uh, at the end of the last episode. Now, so now I got to run all the way back over here. And on top of that, it was a totally different time of day. Oh, jeez. He's like, what? Huh? He doesn't even know where I am. Oh, gosh, look how fast. Look how fast. So fast. He's gonna come running up over there and scare me. Oh, here he comes. Oh. He's only got one arm. It's not really a fair fight now, is it? Alright, well, let's go back across here again. Find out uh, where I crossed before. The last episode. Whoa. So, yeah, I think I crossed somewhere around here. Maybe down this way a little bit. So. We gotta retrace our steps a little bit. I don't think this is where I crossed. So yeah, I wanted to go into that building where there were um, more super mutants. How did I cross this? I think I crossed here. Huh, I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. That was a pretty far jump. Getting tired. I don't. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not over encumbered, which is actually a nice switch from how things usually are. Oh, come on, jump, dude. Let's go up this way. Hmm. I think I tried exactly this last time, and it didn't work out for me. Can't quite climb up that high. Oh well, we'll go this way. camp down here. Oh, because I didn't really notice this before. Kind of just walked past it. Oh, there's a note here. Okay, interesting. The Domestics, Note 1. This is where I took Cindy Tubin down the river for the first time. Cindy always loved the water. Jeff. Huh, okay. Teddy Fear? Not Teddy Bear, Teddy Fear. A dish rag, blue bandana, beer bottle, and two mannequins. Okay, well, we found uh, Domestics Note 1, whatever that means. We'll keep an eye out for more of those. Something with uh, a Cindy and a Jeff. Wish my action points... Oh, they're still going down. Why are my action points still going down? So my action points should be regenerating at a 15% faster rate now because of a perk I've got. And as we saw in the last episode, there were some soot flowers here that um, are actually not toxic. So let's take these guys out again, like we did in the previous episode. And uh, remember there was like a little camp up here on top of the hill. That was kind of nice. It said welcome. So I'm going to go down here and see what this is. I mean, I don't know what this is. Oh, where's this super mutant fighter? There he is. Come on. Oh, didn't get him. Alright, I'm done terrible. 
And these guys are pretty high level too. Oh man. Oh, here they come. Whoa. Guy right next to me already? Oh, he is, isn't he? Oh man, good reach. I think I did better last time. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Dang, I think he's still not dead. Got him. Hey, stop shooting me, Drew. Oh, darn it. Man, these guys. Holy cow. Let's take a little bit of help here. Man, they, are, they have good aim, too. Really good aim. Oh, some soot flower here. Oh, I hear a guy on this side of me. There he is. Oh, darn it. Man. Ugh. Well, you know, if you're just gonna come out with that stupid board, I'm just gonna keep shooting you. Oh, he got me. Sheesh. Freaking annoying. Alright, where's the rest of them? I know there's more. I'm sure of it. Oh, more soot flower over here? Oh, yeah. I want the soot flower because I can use it to make some healing salve. Yeah. So there's at least one more of these dudes, probably more. Where are they? Let's find these guys. Oh, hey. Oh, dang it. Oh, come on. I think I saw a dog, too. A hound. Mutant hound. These guys... Just walking away. Did I get him? impact. I'm gonna hit him in the face. Nice, got him. Okay. Stupid jerks. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. Funnel cake? Yum. See what the heck is going on down here. What is this place? These places so super close together. Uh, Grafton Dam. Okay. What's this? F uh, Battle of Huntersville speech. Final orders for Grafton Dam. We expect your squad back at Camp Venture within the month. As you're packing up, please keep Elder Maxon's new orders in mind. We have to secure any valuable and potentially dangerous technology. So a couple parting orders. One, use the contacts you've gathered with the responders and even the free states and see if they know of any hidden caches of technology. I know the Savage Divide had some government research installations. If we can get solid intel on where they are, we can mount a recovery expedition. Two, determine if anyone, friend or foe, has any technology that is potentially dangerous. Anything involving nuclear technology, laser or plasma weaponry, or anything. Catalog it, but don't act. Knight Wilson and I will evaluate on a case-by-case -case basis. You must have mixed feelings about leaving the dam, but your mission has grown beyond just protecting civilians. Don't forget it. Pallet integrity. Well, that's obviously a brotherhood note. And then we've got Battle of Huntersville speech. And more power armor over there. So let's listen to this speech.
civilization. The Brotherhood and responders together have paid a high price to make that word mean something in Appalachia. Despite all the changes, farmers have worked the land, people have learned new skills, and, and we've built a new world. And the super mutants threaten all of that. I'm a soldier, a paladin, and I tell you that this is our moment. We will never be stronger, and the super mutants never weaker. If you're thinking in the heat of battle to run, to live to fight another day, know this. There is no other day. We win here, now. Responders and Brotherhood together, or we will die. So look to your left, look to your right. Promise to give your all to protect them, and they will protect you. Make no mistake, this will be the toughest fight of our lives. But we will win, because we're fighting for something, for each other, for our children, for civilization. Now, let's show these muties what we're made of. Well, I'm going to say that they lost that battle, considering there's still mutants here, but uh, I don't see any responders or brotherhood here. This is another note. Uh, Esposito Diary, page 12. So that was fun. Moreno's a fine communication operator, but not the best pick for command, especially given how the situation's evolving. He took being relieved of command well, though. On the trip over, I saw firsthand that our recon was right. The super mutants are a growing threat. Is anyone else still reeling? Before the war, this was a nice river valley with farms, factories. Now there are these giant bloodthirsty mutants kidnapping and killing everyone in their path. First, some damage control. We set a regular schedule for caravan escorts to the mire and back. If caravan Sally comes through expecting us to drop everything to escort them now though, we have fewer trips with more guards. Oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. If Caravan Sally comes through expecting us to drop everything to escort them now, tough. We have fewer trips with more guards. Okay. Esposito's diary page. Some power armor here. I'm not even going to bother. Fusion cell, plasma grenade, uh, some right arm stuff that I can't do anything with. Scrap some junk, scrap some stuff I'm not using. Like this. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Scrappity scrap scrap. Why am I not taking the power armor? I don't know. I'm doing fine without it. Oh, another government requisition here. Oh, good. Uh, Tinker's workbench. Well... What I'm really hoping to find is an armor workbench, or not an armor workbench, a weapon workbench, so I can repair my sniper rifle. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, as far as crafting things goes, um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. I can make this bulk stuff, which I still don't know what to do with. And again, if you guys have already answered those questions, I, I record these videos a bit in advance, so you may have already answered questions I have. Uh, so it probably seems like I'm ignoring you, but I'm not. I just haven't seen your comment yet, because you haven't left it yet. Cooking station. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to craft here. This is the worst outfit. Uh, drinks. So we can make fern flower tea. I'm going to keep the soot flower, because I want, um, want to see if I can make healing stuff. For healing stuff, healing salve, I need some blood leaf. That's what I want. Um, I have eight boiled water, so let's go ahead and make some drinks. Fern flower tea? Sure, why not? Potato juice? Sure, why not? But I want to keep some boiled water so that if I find some um, blood leaf, I can make some healing salve. Okay, I heard Super Mutant walking around over here. Or somebody. It sounded like a Super Mutant to me. Here's some music playing. Where is he? 
What is this for? Is he in that building? Not sure where this guy is. Looks like there's a little camp set up here. Command center, maybe. Stealth boy. First day of commands. Let us listen to this. So I got my own command now. Bet you never Marina. thought that would happen, right? With all the new blood sergeants training. I mean, night. Senior night. Met up with the representative of the responders. I told her our mission to escort trade caravans, keep the freaks from the savage divide away from civilization, and maybe get the dam operational again. She was so grateful, it was almost embarrassing. <laughs> Day one complete, and so far so good. But I miss you. And the hot shower. But mostly you. The old rules about fraternization, I don't know if they apply in the Brotherhood. Maybe we can just come clean and tell Pallet and Taggarty about us. I know you'd like kids one day too, and we're not getting any younger. Promise you'll think about it. Love you. So I don't think I saw a name there. I don't know who he's talking to. I'm going to guess that maybe they were um, responders that have now joined the Brotherhood. I'm not sure about that. Night Marino's Terminal. Grafton Dam secured. We've successfully fortified Grafton Dam and established a working base. I've sent word to Pallet Integrity. She'll let Harper's Ferry know we're ready to safeguard any traders wanting to make the trek to the mire. Sadly, we haven't been able to get inside the building itself, but Martinez believes the large drainage pipes might be a way in, should the need arise. Hmm. You can remember that. Grafton Dam power reinstated. So Scribe Grant shows up and bangs on the pipes, works with the wrench, and bingo, we got power. Grafton Dam is once again providing power. Power means we'll have an easier time keeping the Morgantown slash Harper's Ferry trade flowing. I know Pallet Integrity wants to keep the Brotherhood a military first outfit, but we could use a thousand grants. Scribe grants, that is. Harper's Ferry missing hunting party. Some hunting party has gone missing at Harper's, Harper's Ferry. I've notified patrols to keep an eye out. Their last known location was north of Valley Galleria, but if they've got if they got hounded by hostiles, they could be anywhere, including the trade routes. Edward Hayes has posted details on their lookout terminal, so we'll be watching for updates. Okay, so we've got a miscellaneous popping up here. Let's take a look at it in our uh, quest lists. Um, yeah, it just says find a gate terminal at Harper's Ferry. Don't know if this is going to be on my map. Let me see what other quests I have selected, if any. Okay, good, I don't. So this is the only one I have selected. And, um... Let's see if it's marked. I don't know where Harper's Ferry is. Look at all these people up here running around here. Harper's Ferry. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So Harper's Ferry is way over here. Alright, well, it's going to be a while before we get there. So I may as well just go ahead and turn off this quest so it's not cluttering up my map. Oh yeah, here's one where I was supposed to search Otis Pike's house. Crap, I think I might have missed this one. Uh, huh. Well, we could, we could go over here. Yeah, we, we want to go back over here anyway, I think. Because uh, I think we have a quest that takes us back here. So, yeah, then we'll go over to Otis Pike's house in Grafton. So we'll do all that stuff. So let me turn that off. I also just now noticed this whole show on map thing. I am strongest, strongest super mutant. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> he is strongest super mutant. Here is a door that requires skill three. However, oh man, we can't even get into that terminal. It looks like I'm hungry again. Let me take some food real quick. Aid. Uh, mac and cheese. Get some of that. Uh, let's see. Do I still have those uh, mutt chops? I do. Well, how do I have seven? Oh, I guess I made more mutt chops. Talk on it. Or was it mutant hound chops? No, it was mutton chops. Remember I was doing an experiment to see if this stuff goes bad? I think it does go bad. I think somebody said so in the comments. 
think it does go bad. So let's drop this stuff. Yeah, there's a condition of it right here, so... I guess once it gets so old, it'll just, um... It'll just spoil. But what's interesting is that... I think, I'm pretty sure I already had some mutt chops, and then I made more, so would it have to list them separately? You know, with different conditions? I think I saw that before something else I had made. And it might have even been the mac and cheese, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so I can't get in that door, unfortunately. I don't have level 3 hacking or level 3... Wait a minute, why does this say I only have... W skill 1 in hacking? I know I got my hacking to skill 2. Um, that's under intelligence. Now look, this is saying 1. I mean, I have to go back and look. Because I am pretty sure that in both cases, I set these to, uh, I had a, two, a level 2 hacking, and I thought I had a level 2 pick lock too, but now it just shows, shows 1 in both cases. I think something's wrong. I really do. Like I said, I'll have to go back and look at that. See if I can make any sense out of it. Well, unfortunately, I can't get in that door right there. Oh, this is that spoiled food. It, uh, cracks me up. Oh, Grafton Dam sign. Okay. It cracks me up to think that somebody will come along and see this and maybe pick it up. I mean, I'm sure they'll instantly know what I was doing. Grafton Dam sign. Caution, Grafton Dam is an automated facility. There are no personnel on the premises. If you wish to contact the Grafton Dam, please contact Mr. Quentin Giese for assistance at our offices in Grafton. Okay. Good to know. Let's uh, work through it this way. Let's just go through this door right here. Um, see if there's any... Oh, well, it's not a door. And let's go up these stairs and go with this door right here, I guess. Oh, it's locked. Another Grafton Dam sign. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I can't get in there either. Wow, am I not going to be able to get in here? Interesting. Well, let's see if there's any way to get in here. Somehow those super mutants managed to get in there. How oh, jeez! Was not expecting that. Oh man, I am completely out of ammo. Crap. Well, um, I don't think I have a single weapon <laughs> to use now. I don't think I do. Let me look here. Weapons. Um, yeah, my, my sniper rifle's broken, and I'm out of ammo for my special weapon here. But I think there's a Tinkerer's Workshop in here. Was it in here? I could go in here and uh, make some more ammo for my um, Somerset Special. It uses 44 weaponry. So, craft, ammo, 44 rounds. Oh man, I have to grab and make this. Okay, I thought he was coming in here. He's just shooting through the window. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I might have to use that short hunting rifle. I'm surprised that I don't see any super mutants over there. Ah, this is what they were talking about. This is, I guess this is the place you were talking about using the pipes to get in. Yeah, skill three. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. See if I get in through those pipes we just saw. Let's see what's down here.
pretty uh, radioactive down here. Mutated fern, sure, why not? Sounds like maybe that super mutant's walking, sloshing through water inside the building. All right, well, this is not where I want to be. A more mutated fern. Let's go back up, and uh, we should be able to drop down on those pipes. Get in that way. Uh, some automatic fire taking place off in the distance. Because by golly, if there's super mutants in there, I want to go in there. Let's take some uh, rad away real quick. We're getting quite a quite a few rads on us. Use this one. See how much that does. All right, we are going to drop down here. Something there. Well, we're in. Chomping around. Tromping. Come on. Time to die. Time to die. Were you talking to yourself, Super Mutant? Let's see where this guy goes. Oh, he's going up there. Ouch. Nice. Orange canister. Okay. Toy rocket ship. Well, I don't know why that would be sitting there. Kind of a random thing to have sitting around. Duct tape. Ooh, hey, look. Fusion core. Well, it's very quiet in here now. Huh, a corpse with some Grafton Dam keys. Well, now that I'm in here. At least now I'll be able to get out. That's good. Wouldn't want to be trapped in here. Vegetable starch? I don't know. Haven't seen much of that. So I'll take it. Hmm. Why are there so many toys here? Look at this. Toy truck, toy car. We saw that toy rocket ship down there. Uh-oh, there's one of those monkeys. Uh-oh. Oh. Where's this music coming from? More toys. Um, I'm close to the radio, I think, but um, I'm not seeing it. Where is this thing? So, right as I walked in here, I saw this, and if I step on this, these monkeys would probably explode. Probably would. Oh, man, I want to turn this music off. Um, where is this coming from? Is it coming from up higher? Yeah, maybe it's coming from up here. Let's try this real quick. In here? Oh, man. V and F. Oh! Oh man, stupid monkey. Shot the monkey's head off. Whoa, here we go. There. Whoa, creepy. Alright, let's, let's look around now that I turned the music off. 
Uh, caps, economy, wonder glue. There's good stuff in there. I'm really surprised that there's not running into any more super mutants. Very surprised. And I saw a bench somewhere as I was running through here frantically. We'll see it again. Oh look, here's a bobblehead for energy weapons. Bobbleheads in this game don't mean nearly what they meant in other games. They're just kind of like one-use things that only last for a short amount of time. So they're not nearly as... I don't think they're nearly nearly as useful or desirable. Matter of fact, I'm going to say they're... To me, they're not even desirable at all. Are you going to do something? You're just going to stand there and scare me. Oh, he's... You gonna do something? You too. Stupid creepy monkeys. I just remember sometimes in Fallout 4 these guys would explode. But only sometimes. Not always. Oh, this guy's got a nuke cherry. Oh, he was holding a teddy bear. I wonder if this is the guy that had all the toys. This. Takes us back outside. This is, I think, the first door that we saw that we tried to go in, but was locked. You don't need wooden blocks. All right, let's go down. boxes up there. I don't know if there's anything worth grabbing from there or not. Mm -hmm. Another teddy bear. Stuff just laying around all over the place. There's a flat surface. There's going to be junk on it. Okay. Yep, he's actually got a switch on the back of him. So he probably would have set something off. He does too. Now this switch here, I don't have an option to disarm it. It's pretty scary looking right there. Uh, acid. Okay, eh, weapons workbench. Okay, let us see if we can't repair my uh, sniper rifle. Good as new. Okay, cool. These are the things I'm just gonna scrap. Um, scrap all junk and scrap these things. I mean, the short hunting rifle does do a lot of damage. I do realize that. And it uses 308 ammo, so maybe it's time I switch from using that special weapon I've got. The problem is, is that I can't scrap it, and i got to carry it around anyway, so that's extra weight. See what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. So, the question is, do I keep the Somerset Special, for which I only have 52 bullets versus using a, a hunting rifle does 50 damage this thing actually has twice the fire rate though but I have so much 308 ammo um, I mean I could modify the hunting rifle to make it more dangerous so I could um, Modify it, put these other receivers on here. Calibrated receiver, superior critical shot damage, hair trigger, superior rate of fire. It only gets it up to five. Hardened, true, gives me more accuracy. Hardened gives me more damage. And I'm always mostly interested in doing more damage per shot. That's kind of what I'm always interested in. Um, so let's go ahead and just do this. We'll make this thing do more damage. Standard short barrel. 
So the long barrel weighs less and has more range. And we have these stabilized barrels. Gives me improved range and recoil. And then a true improved range superior hip fire accuracy. But man, it's so heavy. I still don't understand why a short barrel is heavier than a long barrel. That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, that makes zero sense. I mean, I could go up to the true short, short barrel for better hip fire accuracy, but it's really not that much of a difference. The stock, a bruising stock, this is for bashing. It gives me better accuracy here. But man, it just makes it weigh so much more. Magazine, I could put a large magazine on it, which again makes it weigh a lot more. So, I don't know. Um, we'll go ahead and stick with this thing, I guess, since I went to the trouble. And then uh, we need to modify, or we need to repair it, is what I need to do. It's in bad shape, so we're going to repair this. Okay. So now, I uh, go in here, and we're going to put this in a slot. So now it's down here in slot 5. This is uh, my sniper rifle, Somerset Special, my binoculars, and my machete. Yeah. But for the time being, I'm going to keep using that um, special now that I have some ammo for it. So I guess I'm never really going to learn why there's all these toys in here. I mean, we did see that body up there clutching a uh, teddy bear. So I guess maybe that's, these were all his toys? I don't know. But um, is this it for the dam? Is there more to it than this? I don't know. Let's check, check it out. Just a corpse. This will take us back outside. Let's just air this place out a little bit. It's kind of sneaky in here. Well. That was the dam. And there's a note. Alright. Well, there you have it. There was Grafton Dam. Grafton Dam slash... Brotherhood military outpost, it would seem. Let's bring our map back up. So I was heading in this direction because I wanted to see if I couldn't figure out where this treasure was. And my thought was, um, let's see, where is the actual dam? I think I just, I thought I just saw it. My thought was that the dam was going to have been split in two. But I don't think that's the case. Let's uh, walk this way and take a look at the dam. Pick up these soot flowers down here while I'm at it. So no, the dam, the dam is intact. Bunch of toxic barrels down there. So, this really makes me wonder about this map that I've got. Bunch of garbage down there. So yeah, you know what map I'm talking about. I've looked at it many times. This one. What is that underneath of the N? Um, and then... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hmm. But we are in the Savage Divide. This is... That's where this should be. This, this treasure that we're looking for is somewhere here in the Savage Divide. I'm just not making a lot of sense out of this. 
So you see there's three big power uh, power pylons in the end of the middle one. It looks like there's like a factory or something. Man, I don't I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd really like to figure this out. There's the power lines. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let me take some water. Or something. Um, I thought I had made some drinks. Where are the drinks I made? Well, I mean, there's purified water, but... Soup will give me food and water. So we'll take that. Oh, here's some tea. Oh man, is this stuff gonna spoil? Look, does tea spoil? Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on that, huh? Hmm, man, I am not having any luck. Oh, there was fire up there just a second ago. Did you see that? When I, when I first glanced up there, there was fire right there. It was weird. Doggone it. I am not going to be able to figure out where this treasure is. Little makeshift dock down there. I feel like the most distinguishable thing in that note are those uh, two tower-like things right underneath of the N. But I can't make any sense out of what that is. I don't know. Well, anyway, in the meantime, uh, there's some uh, buildings over here. Let me see, where am I on the map? That'll just take me to the other side of Grafton Dam. But, I do have, at least I, I think I have a quest. A side quest here. Uh, nope. I don't have that anymore. I guess that was a daily quest? I don't like how quests just disappear. We had a, we had a quest in the last episode called uh, Falsely Accused. Uh, where we were supposed to go to the penitentiary um, to talk to the warden about his robots. But that uh, is now gone. That mission is now gone. And I don't like that. So I could head back in this direction, go back to the penitentiary, and then... Once we pass that, we can go back over here and search Otis's place. I kind of don't want to do that in most part because I've already been there, but I also don't want to um, not complete that one mission where we're supposed to search Otis's house. So, ruptured hallucinogen gas canister. Maybe on our walk back over here, we'll pick up that quest again. I just don't remember that quest being a daily quest. I thought it was a side quest, but I guess it was a daily quest. So I am going to go ahead and walk this direction. And I, I won't go into the uh, penitentiary unless I get that quest assigned to me. Look at this. Like, Oh, these are uh, supply drops. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> this one's floating. Can I get to it? Yeah, I can. 
And I'm over encumbered. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So when I'm over encumbered, is there anything that I can do perk wise that will help me out? Weights of chems are reduced, less radiation. Um, pistols weigh less. This is these are all the cards I've got. So this, I already have two of these up here. What does Gladiator do for me? One-handed melee weapons do plus one damage. I could unequip this, then equip this. What? It says I have one unused point, but when I go to equip this, it takes this one out. And I don't want to combine them, because then I won't be able to put Gladiator back on. That's pretty annoying. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I could do this. Now I've got a three. Now I put that up there. But what sucks about that is that now I can't remove that... Um, you know, now this is a three. And there's nothing I could do about it. Oh, well. It, it, it made me not be over encumbered anymore. It served its purpose, did what I wanted it to do, but not happy about the way I did it. So we'll just take a walk through the countryside here. Uh, we've actually been here before. We've seen this car before. I guess rather than walking through here, maybe I could just um, fast travel to Grafton, couldn't I? Let's just spend the money and fast travel over there. Let's do that. That way I don't have to walk past that penitentiary again. Eh, six caps. It's worth it. No big deal. We'll go over here. We'll search Otis's place and then we'll move on someplace else. So, let me choose that quest. Cold case. Search his house. It's right up the hill here, apparently. Grafton Station down there. Kind of an interesting view of the town from up here. Radioactive. Okay. Whoa. What the? Oh. Oh, okay. And it crashed. Wonderful. So my game crashed on me, and luckily when I restarted it, it didn't put me too far away from where I just was. Um, we were right here by this little pool of water, but if you listen, I could hear one of those officers walking around. Hear him? Let's go find this guy. Hmm. Oh yay, I'm joining the Grafton Day event. Alright, be quiet, I'm trying to hear. Oh, a note. Ghoul's notes. Alright, move it. Alright. Okay, so. It could, oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, piece F9. I'll take that. Oh, go away! Ugh. Oh, good grief. Seriously? Ugh. Come on! Jeez. 
I just want to play the game, but the game keeps getting in the way of me playing the game. <laughs> well, where did you come from? Alright, shut up. So, uh, we picked up that uh, key there from that dude. Um, oh, here comes another one. Right in the face. Okay. So we picked up that key from that dude, and then there was a note on the door that I didn't notice before. Uh, so let's look at that note. It's called Ghoul's Note, and I don't see it now. Well, that's what it was called, man. It was called Ghoul's Notes. And now I don't see it. And I think I picked it up. I don't think I left it hanging there. Oh good, I did leave it here. Ghoul's Note. To those who remain, many of us have lost things we once held dear. Our voices, our skin, the taste of food. You've watched your loved ones die. You don't need to suffer alone. A new community is forming to the east. It's being built by people like you in the remains of the capital city. Join us as we prepare to leave this place. West Virginia will not be rebuilt with... Will not be rebuilt, but our lives can still have a purpose, William Keller. So they're going to have like a, a ghoul camp west of here. West is this direction. He said in capital city. Um, so yeah, I guess they're talking about uh, D.C., that would be capital city, right? Uh, not interested in watching that parade again. I've already done that once before. Instead, we are looking for Otis Pike's house. I'm supposed to search it. For what will be the probably closing of the story of Freddie Woods. Here is a note. Notice of termination. Grafton Steel, Greater Appalachia Region, August 4th, 2077, to Mr. Otis Pike. Employment termination. Mr. Pike, this letter serves as formal confirmation of our informal discussion today regarding the termination of your employment with Grafton Steel. It is unfortunate that you have been drawn into this ridiculous propaganda. As a law-abiding government contractor, Grafton Steel abides by our commitments to meet or exceed standards for safety and production. You have demonstrated a complete disregard for Grafton Steel's reputation, its importance to the war effort, and repeated counsel intended to help you. Sincerely, Stacy Tibbetts, Human Resources Manager. So, they've gotten rid of him. And he obviously was not very happy about that. Camp Tomahawk Postcard. Hi, Uncle Lotus. I made Bobby puke four times. So cool. I saw a dead animal. There were lots of worms and guts. Susie May bald. Girls are dumb. Ha 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 ha. Freddy the Great. So his little nephew Freddy was um, sending him postcards. couple of bodies here. So I figured that whatever I'm looking for is going to be in the basement of this place. And that's why I went upstairs first. Well, let's go see what's going on here. Purified water. Computer. It's going to have all the information we need on it. Alright. Let's look at this guy's computer. I hope this isn't too creepy. All systems are A-OK. -okay. Howdy, Otis. What would you like to do? Calendar. Uh, date param out of range. Diary. It's probably dumb to write this down, but I gotta get my thoughts put down somewhere, so I guess this is my diary. February 26, 2077. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up the, the missing poster for Freddy, so I don't remember what day he went missing. But I think it was right before the bombs dropped. February 26th. Now, Colton and Leland have passed on. The steel mill just keeps pumping poison out. I'm not sure what to do. What can I do? 
I can't get other work with my back being so bad, and Arthur is kin. May 7th. That cute Susie Jenkins died horrible with lumps growing inside her little body. I feel so bad for her folks. No one should have to bury a little child like that. I don't see that I have any choice. Arthur can't see past the dollar signs and doesn't give a crap about anything. People are dying. Somebody guess Arthur is Arthur Woods, the CEO or whatever of Craft and Steel and Otis's brother-in-law. I finally did it. I secretly told the news about what's happening here. The safety rules are ignored and kids are dying. It's not right. June 28th. Ooh boy, I stirred up the hornet nest. There's protesters and reporters and all kind of people camping outside the steelworks now. They're blocking the trucks and such. They're real riled up. July 2nd. The soldiers came and cleared those folks out and posted guards with guns. Arthur was laughing about it today, talking about those commie whiners getting what's coming to them. I guess I gotta try something else to make things right. August 14th. Got fired today and booted off the premises. Said they knew I was helping the protesters. Guess being kin didn't matter. Arthur didn't even talk to me himself. I guess I have to find another way. Well, it looks like that way was to kidnap Arthur's son. Correspondence. Received correspondence. Kids secure. From Kids Secure Customer Support on August 23rd, tracking feature. Dear Mr. Otis Pike, I'm sorry to hear about the issues you've been experiencing with your son's Kids Secure. Only an authorized adult that's been added to the account can remove the bracelet. We keep your kids secure. I've attached the override instructions as you requested. Real secure. Please let us know if you have further questions. Yep, it's very secure. Uh, damn safety inquiry. Uh, okay, well, we completed something. Grafton Dam. Uh, find a way into Grafton Dam. Oh, boy. I think I just found out who all those toys belong to. Yeah. Mr. Pike, I'm happy to assure you that Grafton Dam is an amazing marvel of technological achievement. We have found that humans make too many mistakes, so other than a remote oversight capability, the Grafton Dam is fully automated. I would be happy to arrange a tour for you if you are interested further. Sincerely, Quentin Geezy, Community Outreach Manager. Wow, so it sounds like he decided to kidnap the boy and go to the dam. Ken? From Arthur Wood at Grafton Steel. Uh, subject regarding Ken. No, just no. We aren't related, you and I. Molly was the love of my life, and while she lived, I had to deal with your crap. What were you thinking trying to screw me over with the protesters at the dam? You tried to take advantage of my memory of your sister. The hell with you. Freddy likes you. I can't prevent the kid secure from letting you locate him, since Molly trusted you as a guardian. Just go away, Otis. Okay, so he, Molly gave him permission to use the kid secure thing. Okay, so it was all on the up and up. Well, the story continues, and it is not what we were thinking now, is it? Yes, it does look like Otis kidnapped Freddy, but he did it because he was worried about him. <laughs> so cute how many different bears there are. Um, he was worried about him and wanted to keep him from getting, uh, you know, whatever was going around, cancer or whatever. So he kidnapped him and brought him to Grafton Dam. That's what it looks like. So this quest continues into the Grafton Dam. I searched Otis Pike's house and found out a few interesting things. I think he's got to be the man in the holotape. His terminal had all kinds of clues. I'm going to head to the Grafton Dam. I think that might be where he took the kid. All right, well, <laughs> maybe we'll go back to the Grafton Dam in the next episode. Time for me to end this one. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.